Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be starting stage one of the next terrain project. This is going to be a Cities of Death terrain table. Uh, I mentioned in one of my previous videos that I was considering making a StarCraft 2 theme table and I still have plans for that but um, I'm really excited about getting things going on this so that will be put aside for the moment and uh, this will be my main focus at least for the next week or two. Uh, as you can see here, this was the uh, initial concept design phase, I guess you'd call it. Uh, it's going to be 4x6 with uh, four 2x2 two two boards. And what I've done is taken graph paper, and you can see these little marks here and here and here. Uh, all that does is show me where the 2x2 two two boards are going to be so I can uh, match up this, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? the pieces that are actually going to be static on the board and, and not be removable. So you can see here I have uh, some roads laid out here um, and then we have this uh, little waterway that's going to be running kind of through the middle of the board uh, more towards this side than this side uh, but again this is this is just uh, my first rough outline of how I want everything to look so if you'll give me just a second, I will pause and bring in the second, uh, second incarnation of that. One thing I wanted to mention before I toss this aside, this is actually a scaled down version of the table uh, to the inch. Each of these individual squares uh, represent a two inch by two inch section. So we've got 12 by 12 here, which is actually 24 by 24 which is going to be the size of the six boards. So when we move on to the next step, which you'll see here, what I've done is uh, scaled it up from the last piece to where each of these is one inch by one inch. So uh, on a small scale version, this is exactly the same size as the table is going to be just in a smaller scale. <coughs> you have to forgive me, I think I need some water or something. Um, but anyway, the reason that I do the one-to-one -one is it will give me an accurate uh, representation of what I need to do on the table to make each of the individual sections line up when the table is side by side or when the boards are side by side on the table. Like, uh, for example, here we come down six inches, six squares, and that's where the top line for our waterway is going to be. Same thing on this side. And the reason that uh, I'm using the six inches here. I did the same thing on the uh, the roads here. Six inches down, six inches in. Six inches down, six inch, six inches in. Um, on the outer edges, I wasn't worried about it so much, um, just because I wanted to make sure that the interiors lined up for uh, rearranging purposes. So let me pause it so I can rearrange it and show you how it would look in a different angle. Alright, so I've done a quick reconfigure of the board here, and as you can see, all of the roads still line up. Um, now one thing that you may run into, depending on how you've laid out your board, uh, because I'm making two different static accessories for the board, being the road and the waterway, uh, once you reconfigure them, you may have some edges where it, there's nothing for it to attach to on uh, the other piece of the board. So to combat that, when we make our Cities of Death modular pieces to put on top of them, what we're going to do is make several that have, uh, let's just pretend that this is a Cities of Death piece of terrain, okay? Work with me. So we're going to make something that will have like a little water outlet on this piece. Uh, we'll do the same for this piece. So it looks like they're just running off the edge, but each one of these will technically look like it should be there on this. And say we decided to go this route. Same thing. We've got uh, a road that doesn't line up with this board. So what we'll do is we'll make a piece that uh, is dual purpose. Maybe have uh, some kind of drive up garage or something where this road is leading into it. And then on the back we'll make some kind of uh, little machine shop or uh, water treatment plant, whatever we need to do to make sure that if we use this configuration this piece has a multi-purpose. Uh, so going back to this, 
probably should go back to the original, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Same thing, just flop these around. That same piece that we were going to use when it was set up the other way, we can use that piece here now. <coughs> and then use the second piece here, and then use the uh, machine shop piece to cover this up. So I know that sounds like a lot, and maybe I'm not even explaining it correctly, but um, the point is we want to make this as interchangeable as possible. Um, I like the idea of having a really garbled table making it look like the perfect display, but I would really, it, for, for me personally, if I'm going to game on something, I don't want to have, you know, I don't, I don't want this nonsense where I'm spending three quarters of the game going, I can't get my figure to stand up, I can't get my figure to stand up. You know, I want to have some kind of movement and variation to where um, it, it's not all static and it doesn't have to be the exact same setup every time. That's kind of what I was getting at, so that's probably the long-winded version. Sorry for the abrupt break in commentary there. I just saved you from about three minutes of rambling on uh, things that just really don't make a whole lot of sense. So. I have my pieces here. I am going to go cut my table pieces or my table boards now. I'm thinking about adding another uh, two by four section, making it a four by eight table. Um, I'm probably going to do that, and I'm not going to take the time to refilm uh, the two extra pieces of these that I make. Um, so yeah, we'll. Uh, I'll just come back once I get the pieces cut and glued, which will probably be tomorrow. Um, but I don't think I'm going to post this video until then anyway, so I'm going to try and keep it all concise and uh, limited to one video. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Talk to you guys soon. Okay, so I know everyone's excited to see Crap Cam back out in full effect. So I'm going to make this as quick as possible. Uh, did cut the boards last night. Decided to stick with 4x6. Uh, everything turned out just the way I was hoping. Seems all line up as well as could be expected. And oh, you suck! Thank you. Um, yeah, I have this random piece of terrain sitting on the table here. I'm not real sure what. The, what's that? Hey, Jim, stop slacking. Looks like somebody left you a message, Jim. Stop slacking. My boards are done. Let's get busy. Talk to you later.